Let's do an example of a case structure, which you uh, may not have seen before. And so a case structure, which, uh, which we've done in class, is usually just true or false. So you can wire a, um, anything gives you a true or false, for example, a touch sensor. So I've come in here and I grab a touch sensor, uh, which outputs yes or no, because whether it's the touch sensor is pressed yes or no, I can uh, say whether if the touch sensor is pressed, and one thing happens, if it's false, means the touch sensor is not pressed, it do something else. Well, there's lots of other things I can do, actually, with uh, a case structure, other than just true-false, it turns out. So, for example, if I grabbed a rotation sensor, now a rotation sensor puts out uh, degrees, uh, the angle in degrees, so it can go anywhere from, from minus, you know, 10,000 to positive 10,000, obviously. Uh, minus 360 to be one rotation backwards, positive 360 to be one rotation forwards. Um, and normally this terminal here is green, but if I wire it to it, LabVIEW is pretty smart, and it'll actually change it to blue. And now I have, rather than true-false, I have a couple different cases. Zero or one are the two default cases. Um, so this, is a case, this would be if uh, the angle were zero, it would do this one. If the angle was equal to one degree, it would do this one. And if it was something, anything else other than zero or one, it would go to the default. So there always has to be the default case. That means if I don't specify, if it doesn't match one of these cases, it'll do the default. Now I can change that. I can say, well, you know, I don't want to go uh, one degree. Perhaps I want to go from 100, whoops, uh, 100 dot dot to 200 degrees. And that allowed me to do, sorry, that allowed me to do something else. So now I have two cases. Now it's zero, uh, it'll do one thing. If it's between 100 and 200, do something else. And if it's anything other than those, those cases, it'll be the default. And so I can do two things. Of course, I can add one here. I can say I want to add case before or after. It doesn't really matter where you before or after. I'll do before. And let's say I'm going to do, um, let's say I'm going to do 10 degrees to 99, because my other one was 100 degrees. And now I have three cases. 0, 10 to 99, and, and 100 to 200. Now, if I actually go ahead and put uh, 10 to 100, it's going to complain. So if I say 10 to 100, whoops, uh, 10 to 100, um, it'll actually complain here. It'll tell me here that it says the, uh, it'll give me a warning. It says the case selector values are not unique. Um, and that means because if it's 100, what is it going to do? Is it going to do this one or this one? So I've, I've got a duplication there. So that's why I have to do uh, to, to 99. And now I can do three different things. I can change the zero, for example. I can make this one say minus 100 to, I think we're at 10, right? To uh, dot dot uh, 9, for example. That would be unique. So if it's minus 100 to 9 or anything else, 10 to 99 and 10 to, uh, 100 to 200. Now I can do three different things. Well, I could put 30, 40, 50 different things in there. And it could be anything. I could, I could for example, you know, this one could be turn motor forward. Uh, this one could be, t you know, stop motor. Uh, whatever you want. And so I can do lots of different cases. And why is that neat for this particular project is because I can use a rotation sensor, for example, or a light sensor or anything else that puts out integer numbers to make a selection. Maybe uh, the default case here is drive forward. And the second case will be to turn left. And the next case will be to turn right. So rather than controlling the left and right motors directly, I program in behaviors. So turn left, turn right, uh, make a 180 degree turn, back up for three seconds, whatever I want, I can make behaviors as individual cases. And so there'll be, st which behavior gets executed is, is chosen by my rotation sensor, or it could be a sound sensor, which puts out integers, a light sensor puts out integers, ultrasonic sensor, lots of different things can happen that way. And so the, um, the case structure is more than just true-false. It can be lots and lots of different cases. And you can have hundreds of different cases here that you can use. Um, and that's what I wanted to show you for this little uh, hint and tip for this week's project.